everyone and welcome to my new video if i sound really weird it's because i'm wearing my retainers and for today's video i am doing a boarding school expectations versus reality and this video will also feature one of my roommates lily chan who will appear right beside me now okay and please before you what? Oh my god, I can't even speak. Before we go on to the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, click the notifications button, and follow us on all our social media. Let's get started with the video, guys. Okay. The first thing, well, most people, when they think of boarding school, they've either read the book Mallory Towers or they've watched Zoe 101, and they think it's any, something like that. And boarding school is nothing like that especially Zoe 101, it sets your standards like up here, but your standards should be like down here. Like I like boarding school, but it's nothing like Zoe 101. First of all, their room is so nice. And usually boarding, in boarding school, like your rooms are just painted white, but they have like pink and they can put all this crazy stuff on their walls and it always looks so nice. And they have, they look like they have the comfiest beds. Like Zoe had like this huge, nice bed, but like when you're in school, you only get these tiny little beds. Like their room is so nice. Like boarding school, especially your first year, you usually don't get such a nice room. Oh, wow, this room is so big. It's gigantic. All of it is for me. <laughs> this is great. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm so excited to see my new room. Okay, then this is not what I was expecting. Oh, and I have a room. That is just great. Okay, then. Okay. They always say that the food's like really good and they always have these um what do you call it? they have food carts where they go buy food and smoothies. I'm my school does not have that at all. Like we have some place where you can buy snacks, but usually like the food isn't that great. Especially when you eat it like three times a day. Like after some time, like it's really not that great. What even is this? Ugh, well, that's all they have for dinner tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. People also think that having like roommates and stuff, it means like you're gonna have a sleepover every day. And maybe like at first it sort of feels like, oh yeah, so fun, like if you're good friends with your roommate. But after some time, it sucks. I, I, Personally, I can tell you my roommates are horrible. That's a lie. <laughs> Only friends. Oh. Oh. Hey Zay, do you want these Dragon Balls? Huh? Yes! Sure! Awesome. And then maybe we can paint our nails together like later on tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, she's so nice. <laughs> and I don't mind if I do. Can you please stop? Can you please stop it? Gosh, you don't have to yell about it. I'm all beds. Like I said before, she had this nice comfortable queen bed like no no this is not a hotel it's still school the beds I, I don't know about other schools but the beds here they're bricks you usually have to buy one of those like think inch like mattress foam to put on top of your bed just so you can sleep comfortably the next they are hard they are like bricks it's horrible Oh. 
The next one is time management and getting up early. The thing about being a boarding student is that because you don't have to like worry about getting driven to school, you only have to like walk to school, because school's like right outside, you t like you sleep in, but sometimes like that doesn't work out for people and they can sleep in past the room bell. Time for school. Four more minutes. And also, because boarding school is also in a relaxed environment, you tend to not dress on the nicer side. You tend to just want to go to school in your sweatpants, especially if you're already late because you thought you could sleep for so long because your class is right there. You probably just show up to school in your pajamas and your sweatpants. And the very, very last thing about boarding school, I feel like most people think boarding school is for like these posh, rich people, but it's really not. Boarding school is for anyone. Anyone can come to boarding school and they could get like scholarship or financial aid if they want to come, but you do not have to be some rich, posh person who lives like in a mansion to go to boarding school. Like not only the wealthy go to boarding school, Boarding school is for everyone, isn't that right, Lily Chan? Yup. Bye! Bye! Make sure you follow all my social media accounts below. Yes, you know what to do, follow, subscribe, all of that stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my camera view! Come back next week for more videos. And make sure you subscribe because summer is coming and in the summer I'm gonna post a video each week. I might even post two videos a week, so you need to stay subscribed for all that good content.